Thanks for tuning in. I would like to talk to you about anxiety and boundaries. You know, we often lose it. Um, we get anxious or maybe even a panic attack. And I have discovered that it all has to do with setting or not having any boundaries. What does that mean? If you had, don't have any boundaries, you are vulnerable. You're vulnerable to everything. It, 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 you feel like it, it's a personal attack onto you. Here's the thing, you cannot blame anybody because you don't radiate the boundaries you have set for yourself. Nobody knows what your boundaries are. So let's talk about the boundaries. What are you going to do about that? Because where do the boundaries come from? The boundaries come from who you are, knowing who you are. If you know who you are, nobody's going to futz around with you. Are you kidding me? But if you don't know who you are, if you don't know how strong you are inside what you can do, everybody just walks over you like a doormat. Now, that is not in every situation or in your life, but in many important situations it is especially those who especially uh, those people who don't know where your boundaries are in a situation that is very important to you so you feel lost vulnerable you can change that you can absolutely change that because y you don't have to be afraid of somebody else's opinion about you you know i always go like what you think of me is none of my business it's a very good book written by um terry cole whitaker very good book and it is none of your business what other people think about you but you know here is how we are raised we are raised with everybody's got to love me because then i'm okay you know, not really. You have to love yourself. And in that whole mix is the lack of confidence. Because if you have confidence within yourself, if you know who you are, if you love yourself, you radiate that. You walk straight. You look somebody straight in the eye. Nobody's going to fool around with you. But if you don't know who you are, you're, you're suspicious, you're vulnerable, it's not really working in any situations. You don't speak up. You don't express yourself. When you're asked from your, for your opinion, you don't voluntarily give your opinion because you are simply afraid of what others are going to say about you or about the comments that you made or are they going to ridicule you if you say something or if you don't say something. So the boundaries. You know, lack of confidence is, I think, a great, great, a major part in, in the boundaries of not setting the boundaries and having anxiety. So it expresses itself in the body language, in your self-talk. And that's the most important thing. What are you saying to yourself? How are you judging yourself? You know, am I a success? Am I a failure? I'm a winner? I'm a loser? What do you say to yourself? Observe that because you're going to change that now. And you can change that. And you will change it because you are a fantastic human being capable of doing anything you set your mind to as long as you believe in yourself and belief comes from trusting yourself knowing who you are feeling confident within yourself it's the all the emotions you know thoughts are emotions and 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 we are nothing but emotions energy in motion we are in emotion that's what we are so start to observe how you talk to yourself when you drop something when you break something, uh, when you do something wrong, do you curse yourself? Do you really talk yourself into the ground? Would you say that to your best friend? Because you are supposed to be your own best friend. So just think about that for a moment. If you were to say that to your best friend, they would not be your best friend for very long. So observe your language, write them down, put it on a piece of paper, cut it in half, this is what you write down and this is what you want to say to yourself. And then start to say it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. And then start to say it in your mind. And at a certain point you start to say it out loud. And then the next step is you're going to say it to yourself looking in the mirror. 
all part of building confidence because there's nothing wrong with you. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. You can do it. So observe yourself and don't worry about what the whole world around you is thinking about you because most likely they are not thinking about you. They're thinking about themselves. Most important that you think about yourself just like you are now going to be thinking about yourself. So in closing, you can do it because I believe in you. I know what you're capable of. Start writing down what you say to yourself. Start observing the moments that you are vulnerable, what was going on. Write down how you were feeling. And when you change the words that you say to yourself, your confidence will come. Create different pictures in your head. See yourself as a winner, as a success. Why not? Why not? There's nothing wrong with you. So go ahead. You can do it. You can beat this anxiety to the pulp by setting your boundaries. Because once you start to create that confidence, you're going to radiate. And that's the boundaries. And everybody feels that. It's like you have a, a bubble around you. It's just, you know, a nice bubble of protection. So go ahead. Go do it. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, this is based on everything that I have learned from the many loving mentors that I've had. If you like it, great. Click the like button, subscribe, share it with people who you think could need my message. And if you don't like it, that's okay as well. Thank you anyway for watching and observe yourself. Take care.